Well, when I came to work in uh, Huntsville, I was a sign of the Missile Firing Lab, which Dr. Devis was the uh, was the head of that. And uh, let me say, he was a great man technically and his management skills. On one occasion in the early days, we were, I guess in 1958, we were launching the Explorer 1 and we had a, had a delay due to wind. So uh, I wanted to do some retesting. Dr. Davis and I had a thing going all the time about how much testing was required and all. And he didn't think we needed another test. I did. And... My immediate boss was Dr. Hans Gruner, which was the, uh, he was Dr. Davis' deputy. And I look, we were in the blockhouse, uh, right in the center of the blockhouse, with all the consoles around us. And, and I looked to Dr. Gruner to give me some help. <laughs> he kind of laughed. He was enjoying our back and forth. And he says, uh, I'm out of it. It's up to you and uh, Kurt. He called Dr. Davis Kurt. Dr. Davis gave me a challenge. He says, I... I'll go to each one of these switches on the console, and I'll bet you a dollar if I operate the switch, it'll work. So that kind of backed me up. I, I figured it would work too. So he had me a uh, you know, disadvantage there because I couldn't take that bet. And he was stressing his point, everything's going to be all right. But uh, the final story, he did finally consent, and we ran another all systems test, which uh, was what I was after, and everything turned out good. All the co-workers, you know, they were enjoying the back and forth. Uh, and so when I retired, they gave me a little board that had switches on it. It had the Ike switch and the Deba switch. And uh, his switch would work, light up the light, and mine would not. <laughs> my name is Ike Ridgell, and that's my untold story from the Rocket Ranch.